Having successfully held the first edition last year, the Aquathon Day was once again celebrated in Kenya, but with a reduced number of participants having seen only 13 participants take part this year, compared to 15 who took part last year. In the near future, we are going to make them more competitive. We would like uh, clubs and other, uh, and other groups to come and do it as a competitive uh, activity. The Aquathon is a series of underwater exercises that are done for not less than three hours. The exercise is called Aqua. It is aerobics in the water. Aerobics in the water is very good for your knees and your back. Literally, you train your whole body. Your whole body will be toned and uh, the water is normally it's a, it's therapeutic. So it also massages your body too. Despite the many challenges experienced by the organizers and trainers, they are committed to seeing the numbers grow and for the sport to be held countrywide and not just in Nairobi. It's actually to have more participants uh, and actually have it all over Kenya. Because we would like maybe by next year we try and do it outside this county. The trainers are convinced that with the sport gaining popularity, next year's event can attract big numbers with the children also being accommodated. The best thing about Aqua, it doesn't have an age limit. So whether you're young, old, aged, you see because uh, times in the gym uh, when you're working out, it gets to a certain point that uh, you're no longer, you're told you can no longer do aerobics, you can no longer lift up weights. So the only solution you're left out with, you're told to go swimming. But now, this is how we are trying to create a pattern whereby uh, we are going to be having, um, it's, not, uh, it's not only going to be swimming only, that when you're told uh, going to the pool, it's just swimming only. So it gets, uh, so we are trying to create that uh, as if it's also going to be a working out, you're going to be work, the full body, it's working out the full body, yes. The sport does not limit participants to only experienced swimmers, but all persons who would like to train outside the gym. Oh!